Hello, welcome to A Moment in Time with Taylor. I am here with a book review, which I haven't done a review on a book in a long time. I think since classes started back up, I have just been very busy reading for school and I haven't been reading as many books as I would like, but I did finish this one a while ago, actually, probably at least a few weeks ago, and hadn't gotten around to doing the book review on it yet, but here we are now. If you don't know, I'm Taylor, and I go live every single day, 365 days a year, mostly on, oh, crisscross, the Realistic Peacemaker Gaming. Thank you for subbing to my YouTube channel. Hey, Copper Boy, how are you? First comment of the broadcast, how are you doing? I go live mostly on Twitch. I do, I'm also an adult content creator as well on a another platform. If you want to see all my other platforms, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff, it's all on my website, nextjuice.com. Click the contact button and you'll see all my links. I even have a Reddit if you want to follow me on there too. Um, but for book reviews, you're in the right spot. My YouTube channel is where I do all my video book reviews. I do written book reviews that I email out once every few months, and you can sign up for that totally free on my website as well, nextjuice.com, and this one will be on the next review. Do you guys like my Halloween nails, by the way? Ah! I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. So this, uh, wait, hang on one second. One second. Okay. So this book is a rare sighting on my book reviews because I don't usually read fiction books too often. Uh, this is a fiction novel from, this is the 100 year anniversary edition. So it's from 1920. It was originally written and it has been edited by Luke Boardman who put it into more like modern day language and, and made some changes uh, in here as well. And Luke Boardman is actually the one who gifted me this book in the interest of getting a review. Now I will say that People have sent me books before thinking that by gifting me a book, I'll give them a good review. But Luke found me through a book review that I did on Anthem by Atlas, or sorry, yeah, Anthem by Ayn Rand. And Ayn Rand is actually my favorite author of all time, both fiction and nonfiction. And Anthem, I didn't really like that much. I definitely not compared to her other works. Um, it just wasn't one of my favorites. So the fact that he saw that and he knew that I give honest critical reviews, you know, goes to show that he had the right intentions here and getting a true real review. Now, I was expecting not to like this. And if you ask Luke, he'll tell you, I let this sit on my shelf for a long time. I kind of procrastinated reading it because I don't usually like fiction. I don't usually enjoy fiction. I don't really like telling people I don't like their books because I have had that happen before. I've had a lot of people send me books to review in the past and I've given them honest reviews. And most of the time, they're not really very positive reviews. I'm not easily impressed. And this book does not fall into that category. I was very impressed by this. I was actually, I really enjoyed reading this, which is so rare for me with a fiction book, but I, it was a page turner. I could barely put this book down once I really got into it. Uh, I was on the beach reading it. I was on the planes reading it, flying around. Like I just couldn't stop reading this book. So I really liked it. I'm not a huge fiction lover so i'll probably still on my goodreads channel still give it like a four stars instead of five because i almost never give fiction books five star reviews i don't know if i ever have maybe ayn rand um but it's definitely it's definitely up there i just think that sometimes like the concepts in this book can be more succinctly put into a nonfiction work so i see the value of fiction as a work of art Personally, I'm more of a functional reader. I like concise, to the point, direct books with minimal anecdotes, which you're not gonna get in a, in a good solid fiction work like this. So it was really good, and let me tell you what it was about. So City of Endless Night. Hi, Michael Myers, how are you? Daddy baby, yes! It's Michael Myers Monday, awesome. Hi, Matt, how are you? How are you guys doing? Good to see you. All right, so The City of Endless Night is, uh, it's in Germany, I think it's, Berlin, I want to say, and it is basically the entire German civilization living in a circular concrete building. So it's massively tall, it goes underground, it has all different levels, and it's completely isolated from the outside world. And the outside world is very intrigued by it. It's very mysterious. They're constantly at war with pretty much the rest of the world and Germany. And it's kind of like sci-fi in a, in a sense in just in terms of like 
military strategy, right? So Germany, this Berlin city basically has these almost sci-fi type war defense mechanisms that make the outside, it's impenetrable to the outside world. They haven't figured out how to get in there yet. And someone from the outside world through a series of events ends up inside the walls of the city, which pretty much no one has ever lived to tell the tale of uh, prior to this experience all fiction, remember, <laughs> and he finds a world of dystopian eugenics gone to the extreme. So they have different levels for the different hierarchies and different castes um, in their system. They explore each of those different levels and what the people are like there and how the law of eugenics really highly regulates who can sleep with whom, who is allowed to reproduce, exactly what type of structure there is for families. Um, only on the top uppermost echelon of society on the royal level are people really allowed to kind of like marry and have a faux family type life. And all of the other levels, it's purely functional. They're, high, they're bred to be extremely specialized at whichever branch of the society they belong in. So whether they're a chemist, they're born from a line of chemists, they're raised up to be chemists, they only learn about how to be a chemist in school and they don't learn about anything else and they have no other options or alternatives to what they might want to do. So I do like dystopian society books like this one, um, like Atlas Shrugged, like The Fountainhead, like 1984 by George Orwell. It's I didn't love Anthem, but you know, <laughs> uh, it was really good. I liked the different ways that they that he explored um, what the pros and cons, mostly cons, would be of a society like this and what would be lacking in this perfectly structured, efficient system where you're dictated the amount of calories, exact amount of calories that you need to maintain the exact ideal optimum weight for you to achieve whatever your, you know, if you're a laborer in the labor unit, then you're, you're mostly, I think the military and the labor unit, it's like these big brutish guys. They're huge, they're like seven feet tall. They all look very much the same. They're all super strong and they're all super dumb. <laughs> then you have, you know, like the, um, the royal family who kind of has a lot more freedom and own who they can interbreed with and, and what kind of skills they might look for from their future generations and the the level of the free women which are the women who are basically free to have sex with whoever they please and have children for whoever wants to have children with them they're not allowed to keep their children you know their children are raised in a different section um and they are, there's really no there's no romantic love there's no familial love there's barely any love at all besides maybe a love for work and a love for the royal family and the love for german blood so what's interesting about this is it was written in 1920 prior to world war ii prior to adolf hitler's come to power and prior to his you know him and the nazis purpose of eugenics and actually putting something very similar to this pretty much into play in the real world so it's Pretty fascinating considering the time period it was written, but it's also just really well written, really well put together, and a generally a good book. So if you're into this dystopian society type fiction novels, I really think you'll enjoy this, and I highly recommend that you check out City of Endless Night. And if you're just looking for kind of like the concepts in a nonfiction format, I would suggest more Ayn Rand readings like Virtue of Selfishness and The Voice of Reason. Those are two of my favorite Ayn Rand works. They're both nonfiction. Uh, Virtue of Selfishness is much shorter, so if you're looking for real, real, real concise uh, information, then you could go with that one. The Voice of Reason is more thorough, and it addresses a lot of different topics throughout society, similar to what this book does. So I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I really like um, the, the kind of how the, the plot unfolded. I, it had me at the edge of my seat a few times. I thought the ending was a bit quick. You know, you get to the end and it's just kind of like, okay, that's the end. There's an, there wasn't a lot of development into the what happened after the ending and really truly experiencing that end, which I feel like the end should have actually been more of like the climax of the book. So that left me wanting a little bit just in terms of structure of the novel. And um, one other criticism I would have is I don't like the German words that they use in there. So it's written in English, but occasionally they'll use the German word for a word instead of the English word. I don't particularly care for that because I don't speak German. 
And all it did was serve to confuse me a little bit and slow me down with my ability to read and comprehend what I was reading. So those are my only two criticisms. I wish the ending was a little bit more fleshed out and I wish there wasn't uh, weird German words randomly <laughs> interspersed through an English novel. All right, Matt, have a great day. Big hugs to you too, daddy baby. Paperback or hard copy? Oh, you mean hardcover? It's a paperback. Paperback. Any other questions? I'm glad you guys were here. I'm glad you got to see my book review live. Sorry that I procrastinated so long, especially sorry to Luke, but I did read it and I did my review just as I said I would. So hopefully um, that that's good feedback for you. And I am gonna jump over to Twitch now. I'm gonna go live on Twitch. We're gonna start playing Dead by Daylight and doing our video game thing. So I love you guys. You are worthy of being loved and feeling comfortable in your own skin. If you're wondering what book I will be reviewing next, it will be this one, Attached, The New Science of Adult Attachment and How It Can Help You Find and Keep Love. So speaking of love, this one will be coming up soon. I'm Ah, what is that? About a third of the way through so far. I just finished the chapter on the anxious attachment style. There's also secure attachment style and avoidant attachment style. So we'll be talking all about that when I do that review. So stay tuned for that. I do have a playlist here on YouTube. That's just my book review. So you can see all the different book reviews that I've done. All the books that I've mentioned should have reviews on here as well. If you see, if you have trouble finding anything, just let me know. There's a really handy search bar right here on my YouTube channel. So you can find whatever you're looking for. And if you want to follow me on other places my username is the same as here on most platforms next juice n-e-x juice j-u-i-c-e and i hope to see you guys soon i do go live every single day 365 days a year so get out there and seize the day carpe diem expremedium squeeze the day thank you jose i'll see you guys later he said donko oh my god <laughs> donko shane <laughs> bye guys Guten Tag. Is it afternoon? Yeah, Guten Tag. <laughs> this has been a moment in time with Taylor. Hope to see you over on Twitch or on my next book review. Bye. Don't forget to sign up for the book reviews on my website, nextjuice.com. They are totally free. They go right to your email. I'll have a link to all the book reviews on my YouTube video too. So make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss these. So whether you prefer them in writing or in video, you'll get that all in the email. And I only send one out every few months. Wait, did I do this already? I just did this, right? Did I do this? I don't know. We're doing it again. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs>